Now let me ask you, on the incentive, and I'm glad to say that you, you know, you're not, uh, many of you are not taking bonuses, but I have to say this, if you believe in bonuses, then uh, is that something bad? I mean, I guess the question is this, you've got bonuses over time. Uh, if in good times you were told you weren't going to get a bonus, what part of your job would you not do? I mean, if you weren't getting a bonus, would you like leave early on Wednesday, or would you take longer lunches? Would you bike past a certain class of investors? I guess that's, you say, and somebody said, well, your incentive comes in shares that align your interest with that of the company. Here's one of the problems. Why in the world are some of the most highly paid, talented people who have jobs that are fun, let's be clear, not always fun, this is not amusement park time, why do you need to be bribed to have your interests aligned with the people who are paying your salary? And this is part of the problem. The whole, I mean, it, I know it's instructive. I know it's a problem for people at the lower end who get bonuses, and that's been built into that conversation. But on level, again, what, why do you need bonuses? Can't we just give you a good salary or give yourselves a good salary? You're in charge of that and do the job. This notion that you need some special incentive to do the right thing troubles people. Anyone who wants to answer, uh, please go ahead. I'll try, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's a uh, good question, and it's complicated. At least from the investment banking perspective, we all grew out of small partnerships. It was historical. Morgan Stanley did not go public in the 1986. When I joined the firm, there were 325 people and probably 20 partners. They took very low salaries, and at the end of that, you got a bonus. The firm did well. I think what we've seen, at least from investment banking, is a carry-on of that methodology. And without question, given the kind of risk that we take today, the global nature of our business and the size of our business, all that has to be looked at again. To answer your question specifically, at least at my level, and I think my colleagues here would say the same, uh, we love what we do. If you gave me no bonus in the best year, I, I would still be here. I thank you. I will not, and I appreciate that answer. Inertia is not, uh, and, and I, I thank you very much. And so it does seem to me that if there weren't bonuses, we'd still get our money.